Yeah. Yeah. Dropped out of school. Now we done rich. What's up, everybody? It's the Mad Scientist coming at you another tutorial video. In this video, we're going to teach you guys how to do a Chicago Air Force One. So the first thing we're going to need is some acetone and some cotton balls. Um, so how you're going to do this is you're going to put your acetone on your cotton balls. Don't over soak them just a little bit. And then you're going to strip away the factory finish on the areas in which you're going to paint. Now, when you strip this finish, you're going to see it on the cotton ball. Be, cotton ball is going to be kind of um, like a white paint on there but that's just going to be the factory finish and you'll know that you stripped it off when you'll see it on the cotton ball and also you won't see a sheen on the shoe anymore. now that we finished that step we're going to get ourselves some angela's black leather dye you don't have to do this it's really an optional step but i just do this as a safety for me granted your shoe should never crack crack them right but sometimes yeah, it happens so with another dye kind of prevents the white from showing through up here or black paint that crack. Which you shouldn't, like I said, be crack. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get you a nice little liner brush. You can get something a little bit thicker. And then um you're gonna just dip it lightly in the hand of the black dye. Now I'm gonna let you guys know you have to be really, really careful when you're doing this step because if you get some of this black down, that white is pretty much going to be possible. You paint over it, but acetone won't be able to get it out. So just be really careful. If you think that you need to put tape down, I would suggest you put it down, especially if you're doing it for a cup. Yeah, you're not going to want to see it right now. Angela's black leather dye. We just did about two coats of that. We're going to go to our next step and we're going to get an Angela's red. Now, it's not a fire red, it's not a real red, it's literally just a regular red. And you're going to get yourself a flat tip paint brush. I would suggest you getting a one that's uh, used for acrylic paint because it's going to get the best job for you. Um, and when you put this red on there, you're going to just put nice little thin coats. Don't try to rush it and just put big globs on there because it's really going to crack quick. So just do nice thin coats. You're probably going to maybe put around eight coats on there. Some people might like to put a little bit more just for safety reasons, but eight is, is good enough. And I will let you know, it may look blotchy at first. It may look like, hey, I can see the white coming through, but hey, you're gonna put a lot of lot more coats on there, and it's gonna go away after And make sure you let it dry in between with these thin coats and not going It may take, I don't know, maybe like 30 seconds, maybe 20. Okay, so now that we got our paint, red paint in there, nice and neat, we're gonna get some black Angelus paint. We're also gonna get some black 900. It's a fabric medium that uh, allows you to mix your acrylic paint with this medium so it can actually go on fabric really nice. So we're gonna get, nice, we're gonna get hard crusted. So, you use the same paint brush that I used before. 
and I'm gonna get inside the sock light. Now you see some reds on there, but that's okay when you can like it. And then when you allow it to dry, the best thing that you can do to make sure it dries quicker and more efficiently and that the paint is gonna be locked in there is get your heat gun or a blow dryer. And just go over this probably about three or four times until it's dry. And then you're just gonna go back over with another coat. And then from there, you're just gonna just let it dry again. And then you should be set. Now that we got that done, the sock line, I'm going to take an Angela's flat black paint and I'm going to use my thin, uh, my liner brush and I'm going to go over the Nike um, embroidery on the back and make sure you take your time with this. You don't want to get it on the um, red area uh, because it's going to be kind of difficult to get, it off, get that black off. I mean, you could try to wipe it off, but sometimes it'll smear and it'll just make it huge. So definitely take your time. And with this flat black paint as well, I'm going to paint the Nike swoosh. Um, remember we dyed it in the beginning and now I'm going over it again with this flat black paint. And it'll have a nice matte finish to it. You can use a dollar, some people use, but sometimes a dollar you have to be careful with too. If you mix it wrong, it will crack on you. So I just stick with what they have. The flat black is actually pretty legit. So the next thing I'm going to do is get some uh, Angela's Red uh, paint. I'm also going to get some GAC 900. And I'm going to mix that and I'm going to put this on the uh, tongue tag. Now you don't have to really be too, well, yeah, you should be careful. Yeah. So take your time with this, be careful. And then from here, we're going to go over the front of the tab and we're going to paint it just real nice so then we can have that actual Nike embroidery stand out. It's gonna have like this dunk consistency. That's how you know you did it right. Because if it's too runny, it's gonna spill everywhere. So be very, very careful. Make sure it's And we're just gonna paint the sole. I mean, excuse me, the sole. What I paint brush. Just do a nice little coat. And then from there, we're going to take acetone. And then we're going to strip down what we just did. Um, and then from there, you're gonna keep building your coats. I generally like to do five. I don't know why five. Is but it seems to work and if you do it properly your your soul should stay red for, for quite some time sometimes it won't come off at all especially depending on how much you wear so just like i said be very very careful on this so now this is what our nice little dye soul will look like and from here we're going to put a matte finish on there I'm going to put this in the airbrush. You can use a sponge. You can use another paintbrush. I know it's crazy, but hey, I'm going to do what I'm using. 